rest generation? Why are we called rest generation? Why? Why? All right, Dina? Because of the rest revelation that God has given unto the pastor of the church. <laughs> Amazing, you. Amazing. Anyone? Anyone? We are rest generation because we are believers of it is finished. Okay, we are rest generation because we are believers of it is finished. We are believers. Anyone that is a believer of it is finished is a rest generation. Rest generation is not a church. It's not a church. It's not a denomination. It's a belief system. I want you to get this. It's a belief system. It's a belief system. You know, if you want to use a, a very logical or uh, natural word, you can call it it's an ideology. It's a belief system. Anyone that believes the finished work of Christ is a rest generation. It's not a church. You don't need to be under pastor favor. You don't need to. It's a belief system. Though. I'm not gonna I'm gonna open your eyes to see that it's a deeper side of this world of it is finished. Not everyone that says that it, that says they believe it is finished actually believe it is finished. It is finished has become a, a very popular word right now, both in the word of grace and all that. You know, but we're gonna look into this scripture, we're gonna look into this this ideal, this 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 belief system, call it is finished, and what is it all about, you know. And because this is what makes you, when you have a clear understanding of it is finished, rest happens to you. The understanding of it is finished bring, produces rest in your life, makes you a rest, a rest generation, a rest personality. Your life becomes restful. So until you believe it is finished to the extent that it brings rest, you become a rest generation. You can say, I'm at rest right now. Everything is gone until you believe such, until you, the, your belief system of it is finished produces the confidence or the, or the rest, the restful system in my life. And I, I know God is absolute, I know everything is done until you, it brings restfulness to you. You have not yet believed it is finished. You are believing the wrong, it is finished. Because there are, there are two types, there are two, two types of the wrong of it is finished. There are two types. Of the, how am I gonna put it? There are two types of the wrong of it is finished. There are two types of them. I want you to let's look into it this evening and we'll go. You know, everybody talk about it is finished, it is finished. Even the warfare prayer, they will pray the warfare prayer house because they think that there is a movement called the believers' authority. The believers' authority, Jesus. Jesus said, I beheld the devil fall like a lightning and I have given you the power to tread upon serpent and scorpion. So they have a mindset of it is finished. This, this first type of it is finished are the people that believe that you know, the devil is, you know, Jesus has, uh, has played his own role. Jesus has conquered the devil. God has defeated the devil. God has done that. Now it is it's, it's, it's left for you to act on it. You get me? It left for you now. God has played his own part. God is no more the fault. Jesus has finished the work. But it's not left for you to you know. He has given you the authority. Left for you to now you know, activate it. Play on it. If you don't play on it, then it's not Jesus' fault. It's not God's fault. So you now begin to see people get into warfare. Into warfare prayer. The devil, I cast you. I defeat you. I, I cast you. I burn you because authority is given to me now. Jesus has defeated him in the spirit. According to how they see, this is the this is the popular this is the popular mindset of every, every believer. You know, every everything I bound on earth is bound in heaven. All these things I take authority and I bind you. I cast you because they believe that in the in the in the sight of Jesus or in the spirit realm or in the realm or wherever the devil has been defeated. Now God has given us authority to exercise the power and the dominion. Over the devil, you get me? So this is a type of it is finished. The devil, God has played his own part. It is finished part. The first part is that, you know, uh, the, this word of faith is now making you to understand that God has played his part. It is finished means that God has finished his own part. It's not left for you to believe. It's not left for you to activate. It's not left for you to respond. 
part. So your own part is what is left. God has finished his own part. Do you get me? We are getting that, right? This is why you are not getting this yet. Oh boy, this is amazing. You are not getting it yet. Alright, it's a it's a realm of it's a realm of faith, it's a realm of believing, it's a realm of acting, it's a realm of you know, it's a realm where you 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 act on what Jesus has finished. You know, it's a realm where he said that Jesus has healed me. I receive my healing. I receive so the healing has already happened spiritually, but you need to play your part, you need to receive the healing. You, re you need to receive your healing. You need to, you know, kick the devil out. If you don't cast him out, he will not go. You know, but Jesus has defeated him. Jesus, the picture here is that Jesus has played his part. The picture here is that it is finished, you know, according to this concept, is that you won't finish what Jesus' part has been finished. It remains your own part. You know, there is, there is this naughty word that people used to say. He said, I cannot marry for you and pregnant for you. I cannot marry a woman for you. You want, want me to marry for you and also pregnant for you. So I've already played my part. You need to play your own part. Look at it. It's a very naughty word. Get out. <laughs> In my own life, they are like this. They used to say like, okay, someone used to say like, okay, I can't cook, cook for you and also feed you. You know, I can, you know, I can't cook food for you and also put it in your mouth to eat. I have finished my cooking part. It's left for you to eat or not. Do you get me? It's a donkey scenario here. Yeah, you can't take the yeah. whole. Yeah. No, it's not about that. They used to tell them, you know, they said, they said, you look at you. You know, if you want me to marry a woman for you and also <laughs> whatever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, but I want to use a picture to clarify what I think. You understand it? Not yet. <laughs> okay, you need to use it. Nila, you understand it? You know, that is a part, that is a. What, what, what would I use now to do? Yeah. What we have. Like, you can't, you can take the. The horse, the horse but you can't force it to yeah, drink. Yeah, yeah. So your own part is to take the horse to the river. Yeah. But you can't force it to drink. drink yes. Yeah. This one is clear now. Yeah. Yes. But all is something I've been saying. <laughs> right? So Jesus has cleared his own part. You know, there was a revelation of a man that says that Jesus invited him. He was talking with Jesus. So there was devil begin to run around that place like a monkey or like a cat. So, and the devil, as the devil was running around, let me just use this formula because that was that their belief. So, and the, 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 the voice of the, the noise that they, that cat or the devil, the demon was making, was affecting the person of hearing what Jesus, because Jesus was just busy talking to him, talking to him, not minding the cat, the cat. So, and, the, and as he was listening to Jesus, the voice of or the, 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 the noise or the sound from the cat, you know, was now disturbing him not to hear, not to hear what Jesus was, you know, was saying very much. So he got to the he got to the point where he became angry and he rebuked the cat, the cat, and the cat fled. And he said to he said to Jesus, Why did you allow the cat to to be disturbing? Now Jesus said, I, I I have no more power. I have given I have given you every power. I've given you every power. If you didn't resist it, it won't go. It is left for you to resist the devil. He will flee. If he doesn't resist, if you don't do it, I have already done my own part. I have already given you all the power. Are you guys getting this right? So it, this is the, this is the realm of it is finished. That believe that that the, 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 the it is finished picture there that Jesus has paid his own price. He has, he has died. Look at Jesus who went on the cross and died for you and you are still sinning. You are still behaving this way. Jesus died for you, bleeding. He was wounded. So they are making it as if like, okay, Jesus has played it. He's bad and you are, the one, you are the one that is wrong. God is good, but you are not good. Okay, it's no more God's fault that you are sick. Jesus has healed you, but it's because of your lack of faith. You need to believe. You need to, you need to act on the, word of, on the word of God. You need to act. You need to activate the finished work of Christ.
why this is the popular belief everybody knows. So why are you behaving as if I'm saying something strange? Then you're saying it in a different way. But you're understanding it. You're understanding it, Madam Pastor Cecilia, understanding it. You are still coming, I don't know, you are still trying to come into the realm. So this is what is happening. This is the reason why people say, I pray warfare. Warfare prayer means that I am in charge. I'm the soldier. We are soldiers of the cross. We are, we are, we are victorious. We are, we are fighting to win, it, to, to finish. We are fighting to win. Because Jesus has already given us authority. I behave that the devil has fallen like a light in me right now. It's not left for me to tread upon it. So the Jesus part was to make the devil to fall like a lightning, to defeat him. Now I, I need to exercise. I need to administrate the, the defeat and the, and the, all those things into my life and into the, into the life of people around me. So this is one, one of the concepts of it is finished. So the finished part here is that Jesus part was finished. God's part is finished, but man's part is not finished. So if man does not believe, he will not be saved, even though Jesus has saved you. If you don't believe, you will be saved. If you don't have faith, you will be healed. Even though Jesus has made healing available. You get me? So he said that, that Jesus died on the cross to, to bring your healing in the bank, in the spirit, in the realm of the spirit. He invested your healing in, the, in, 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 in one place like that, your blessings. But you need to do something to, to, to bring it to yourself. So if you don't do anything, nothing will happen. But it has already happened in the spirit. So you need to act by faith. You need to confess. You need to believe. You need to pray. You need to fast. You need to fast. You know, or you need to fast forty days to make things align for you, because Jesus has already finished it in the spirit. This is the a natural and a normal belief of of Christians today. All right. So this is the one of these people that are acting this way. They, they have this boldness to confront the devil because they know that Jesus defeated him. You get me? They know that the devil has been defeated. That's why they say, who is that devil? Who is that, uh, wherever he is, we bind you, we cast you, because they believe that the authority has been given to them. So, the, the, it is finished means that Jesus conquered the devil. Now, we need to conquer him here. He's not, he's not powerless over us, so we can deal with him the way we want. We can cast him out. All these deliverance ministers, you know, they will be looking at us, the you devil in this house, in this, in this body, get out. They will be saying with, uh, with authority, because they know that Jesus has already, you know, affected. Jesus has already defeated the devil. So they have the power now to cast the devil out. So this is the realm of anointing. This is the realm where God has equipped you. God has empowered you by the finished work of Christ. What the finished work of Christ succeeded was to empower you, a child of God, for you to exercise dominion on earth. But if you don't exercise it, it's your business. Even though Jesus has saved you, if you don't, if you don't, if you accept, accept the salvation and all that, you are still not saved. Even if he has healed you, if you don't believe and confess and have strong faith, you will, the, the healing will not manifest. This is what you have been believing all the way, right? This is what we have been believing. That is why, you know, we go, that's why we fast, we pray, we have two night vigil and all that. So this is a part of it is finished. One part of it is finished, which is a wrong part of it is finished. So these people will say it is finished, the devil is defeated and all that, so that I can have dominion. You know, but this is a wrong part. It means that the, who who finishes his part, what God, God is God's part is, is already finished. The part of God is already finished. Now he has given the power to the sons of men. You know, this is the time the uh, all creations are waiting for the manifestations of the sons of men. So everything is is, is pointing out on, on you now. It's not more on God. What can you do? What can you do with what Jesus has done for you? What can you achieve with what Jesus has done for you? That is the question. So it's not about you, it's not more about Jesus. If something wrong happens, it's, it's, you are the fault. You are the reason why you are not healed. It's not Jesus anymore because he has played his own part. So this is a, this is a, a mindset of it is finished, but it's the wrong one. Another concept of it is finished is a concept of people who think that Jesus played the part of man because on the cross, the Bible says that, that Jesus was in the, Jesus stood for, the, for man. Okay, the Bible says on the cross, Jesus was standing for us. He played 
our own part. He played for our own part. He stood for us. And everything he had the judgment that was laid on him was for us. His own, our own part, the human part has been played. Now it's not left for us to, for God to bless us. It's not left for God to play his own part over, over our life. Jesus stood for us on the cross. I know he stood for us on the cross. Now left for God because in the, in, the, in the realm of the law, in the realm of the system of death, is a realm of partnership. Your man plays his part and God plays his part. So man became faithful on the cross. Became faithful on the cross through Jesus Christ. Now man is now expecting God to bless him. It's a realm of expectation. This thing that has been working on us. It's a realm that we're saying, God bless me because of what Jesus has done. Bless me, oh God, because of Jesus has defeated the devil. Bless me, Father. Bless me, God. You know, so this is a, a picture of, you know, Jesus played my part. God is not left for you. Bless me, God. I command heaven to bless me. I command heaven. I command heaven to bless me. Let heaven release, you know, when you hear about it, it's finished. When you hear about it, it's finished. Jesus has paid my, my, my sins and all of that. Now you will not say, God, almighty God, I, re I, I receive. I receive every blessing I have. I let heaven open for me right now. That will be an excitement. Heaven open right now. You have faith. You can now receive whatever you want to receive. You cannot command heaven and command angels. Command angels to do, to go for you and to do this because now Jesus has finished your own path. You have a right standing with God. You cannot ask God. You cannot command heaven to do. This is, it has been happening to us. This is a mindset we have as believers. So the, it's, it's now a picture that, it's not a picture that God has to do something. God has to bless me. God has to do something because of what Jesus has done for me. Are you still confused? No. So this two play, this two it is finished has been has been has been happening in the in, in Christianity. It is finished of the side of God. It was the one that finished. Man needs to act on it. And it is finished of the side of man was done. God needs to now bless me. Since there is no more sin over my life, what is holding my blessings now? What is holding my, my, my deliverance now? So everywhere, wherever my deliverance is, I command you to come. I command heaven to open. This is a realm. It is a dominion. Because when you hear that Jesus has finished it, there is no more guilty, guiltiness over your life. God is no more angry with you. Now, what is holding my blessing now? I command my blessings to come. So, this is a realm of heaven is, is not the one owing me. Heaven needs to rain down blessings. You know, open the floodgates of heaven, Lord. Let it rain. Let it rain, oh God, because it is it needs to rain, and this is the part of God. God needs to play his part. I just want to make you understand this. This is very simple. When I am as I'm looking at your face, it's so that you're not understanding this thing I'm saying. Okay, if you are still confused, I want you to. Lift your hand. Pastor says, lift your hand, you are confused. <laughs> because if you look at that, you are confused. Right? What wait, wait, this is are you confused? I'm still trying to get a picture, but okay, can you people give me two difference differences of what I said now? To two two of these things I said here. Can you can you give me the difference of the things? What is the difference between the first wrong it is finished and the second wrong it is finished? Because I said it here. One is where God's side is finished, but man has to play his part, and the other side is where man, um, man, <laughs> man's part is everything is like finished. So man is like demanding from God. From to, God. So who, who is there this? Is no hindrance. Yeah, who didn't understand, understand this? Tony didn't understand. As I said, did you? Uh, I, I got that part. I'm still flowing into the. There are two, two, of, two differences. I want you people to get the two differences before we continue. White girl, do you understand? I know I'm giving you a crown. I'm giving you... A, I know it's to say, is it because I'm light in complexion? I just wanted to adore you. Did you understand what I'm saying? The two differences. You know? Amen. Lena, with you? I know you. I believe you do. Yeah. 
So the first is this Finnish side is a, the one that is a one of the is a, all of them are the realm of believers' authorities. Is a realm where Jesus defeated the devil. So you need to you are now the dominion has been given to you. You need to exercise the power, exercise the authority because Jesus defeated the devil. Jesus, the first it is Finnish side was who finished the work. Jesus finished the work. The work of God, God's own part has been finished. In immense man's own part, you know, in God's own part has been finished. In immense man's own part to to finish, just like the, uh, the police now, the the police is the acting force of the conflict. Okay, so when a person, when someone did something wrong, police, the the, and the, the law of the country says that anyone that does this thing needs to be arrested. The police will be the one that will enforce the law over that person. You get me? So Jesus has already finished. His part, man now is the one that needs to enforce that that victory upon the earth. If man does not do it, it will not happen, even though that Jesus has finished it. So everything is pointing at man now. Man is the fault. It is now. The whole world is looking at man, standing as that, standing, standing, standing still and said, What can man do with what Jesus has achieved? We need to conquer the world. We need to win souls. If you do, you know, there was a revelation of a woman that, that died and she said that Jesus is, is helpless in heaven. And Jesus is saying, people are, are perishing, people are perishing, but, but my believers, my children, are not doing something. They are not winning the souls. You know, people are perishing, perishing on, on, on earth. People are very so my children need to go and win souls. That should be that should be winning souls. No, so Jesus cannot do anything. We need to do something. We need to take the gospel to the whole to the whole world. So it is about us now. It's no more about God. If we don't move, God will not move. If we don't do something, nothing will happen. It's, it's, it's about us right now. It's no more about God. He has played his own part. He has given us the strength. He has given us the authority and the ability. But if we don't enforce it, if we don't act on it, this will not happen. So this is the first side of it is finished. What finished was the side of God, but the side of man is what will need to be enforced. The second part of it is finished is that the side of man has been finished. Every curse has been removed. Jesus took all my curse. He took all my shame, all my contaminations. He took all my sickness and all that. God healed me now because Jesus did it. Jesus was for Jesus because of Jesus' obedience. I have been justified. So every blessing that is meant for me should come to me wherever they are. You begin to demand from heaven as if heaven is now owing you. You know, you you give your tithe in the church. You give your child tithe and all that. He said, now God bless me now because of what I have done. I am you are not expecting. Now, 
is demanding that the other side of it is finished. If it is the part of man that was finished, he's demanding the side of God to finish. God, finish your part, finish your part. I have got my part. So if it is the part of God that was finished, God is the, he's not looking from heaven, demanding, it is demanding from us, the children of God, go into the world, revival everywhere, and know all these things. Which souls and all that, everybody's crazy. All that, because they feel that heaven has done its own part. We need to do our own part. This is the thing happening. So, these are the believers of it is finished. But they are believers of one side of it is finished. Yes, I don't understand him. Because your, your, your faces, your faces are, because you're not be looking at this girl. Then she have face will help me to preach. I just make, try to make you to laugh, okay? So, these two, this two, it is finished, are wrong words. They are the ones that demands work. They are the ones that demands effort. It's a realm of believers. It's a realm of faith. It's a realm of women. And based on the distance we have been teaching this period, it's a system of, it's a, it's a, it's a kingdom of men. It's a, it's a kingdom of men where, you see that God, you see that God is at work, or God is powerless. Like, you, like that revelation of the man that says that the devil was dead, making noise, and Jesus said, I'm powerless, I cannot do anything. You are the one that have given the power to do. If you don't do anything, the devil will not go. So it's a realm of God is powerless. It's a realm of men, the system of men. If, you, if Jesus is knocking at your door, if you don't open, Jesus will not come in. He is powerless. You can shut him off. Based on your, your, your decisions, based on your choice, you can shut Jesus up. You can decide, decide for him to come into your life. You can decide for him to go away. You can give him your life. And, and even if, if anything happens, you go and take it back from him. Because he has no choice. You know, he has given you the power to choose life and death. Whatever you choose becomes your own because it's not for him. So this is the realm where men are the one in charge. Here God is not in charge. So he's a kingdom of men. It's a kingdom, it's a system that men are ruling, not God. So this is the this is the realm of religion, this is the realm of faith that people are praying. Every time that is why someone can tell you, if I go to the mountain and pray, you, you uh, one man, one man said, if I if I call my pastor in Nigeria, ah, this man will die tomorrow. <laughs> if I call my pastor, if I if I call my pastor from in Nigeria, if I just make a call now. This, you see what we are, so it's not possible because, you know, if my pastor pray, if I go to the mouth, if I lift up my hands now, this will start happening. You know, without boasting. It's a kingdom of men because we are in charge. Men in charge. Men are in charge. This is a, a, realm of, a realm of religion. What is happening? But this is not. It's a wrong system of it is finished. It's a wrong system of it is finished. So until the, the belief of it is finished brings rest to your soul, spirit, and mind. You are not a believer of it is finished. Because when Jesus finished the work, Jesus did not just finish the work for man, the, the part of man. He finished the part of God. He finished everything. Yeah. It is finished is a complete finished work. Okay. <laughs> So Jesus did not just finish the part of man, he finished the part of God. It is finished means that God's part has been finished. Man's part has been finished. There is no more demand from God, there is no more demand from man. It's a realm where man is not demanding from God. It's a realm where God is not demanding from man. Because in the, in the, in the part of God, it is finished. In the part of man, it is finished. Uh, everything God want to do has been done on the cross. The Bible says every promise of God in Christ is yea and amen. Every promise of God in Christ has been fulfilled. It is yes, it is, it is done. So everything that God, God is no more in the reign of promise over your life. Child, I promise you, he has fulfilled it. He has fulfilled it. The finished work of Christ fulfilled every plan of God over your life. Your destiny from A to Z was completed. Everything is done. There is no more sense of you are saying it with. That is what prayer is. That is what that is how to supply the kingdom of God upon situations in your life. And this can happen.
happen, even when you are sleeping, even when you are riding your car, even at any moment, you focus on the finished work of Christ. That is meditation. I meditate on his word day and night. It's not that it's not that you, you do it in the morning, you go and do it in the night. No, it's just you, you, you have become a mindset. I look at every situation. In the morning, I see through the eyes of it is finished. In the afternoon, I see through the eyes of it is finished. In the, in the evening, I see through the eyes of it is finished. In every situation, in every moment, I see through the eyes of it is finished. Amen. That is meditation of the word of God day and night. And you shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves shall not wither, and no, and whatever you do prospers. Mm. You know? So meditation is a way to bring when if you understand this thing, you will stop going to the mountain. You will stop doing all this thing, denying yourself all this thing. All you begin to be, all you need to do is to be spiritually minded. Being spiritually minded is better than four, is more, is supernaturally more active. That 40 days and 40 nights fasting and praying. Amen. That going to the mountain, that going to be, uh, that going to Nigeria, or going to Umoto, or going to Tibi or going to all this room, is the just spiritual mindedness, you know, uh, rekindling the mindset of it is finished. Supplies everything. This is oh, this is this is this is the supernatural. This is the amazing, this is amazing, this is the realm of the kingdom. This is the realm of the kingdom. You see every situation with the eyes of the feet. You bring everything under the feet of Jesus. You know, the Bible says every news about, every thought shall confess that Jesus is the Lord. Because this is the realm of it is finished. Amen. Jesus has finished everything. You brought everything under the feet of it is finished. Yes. You see the situation in the realm of it is finished. Peace. And life happens immediately. Yeah. So what is prayer? A rest in God. A rest in the finished work. You know the people used to say, I rest in God, I rest in God. If you don't rest in, in, in it is finished, you are not resting in God. Yeah. To rest in God is to rest in the, in the finished work. Is to, is, to, is to remind, is to bring your mindset in the, in the realm of it is finished. Yeah. That is a rest in God. Yeah. So when I say I rest in God, what I, what that word does do is to remind me that it is finished. Yeah. Mm. When I remember rest, I remember it is finished. Yeah. Rest can never happen until it is finished. Until there is a mindset of it is finished. Until there is a, 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 a comprehension and understanding of it is finished. Rest will never happen outside the frame, the mental frame of it is finished. So until rest is supplied to you, you are not a believer of it is finished. No, no. So you will not begin to see that not everyone, every child of God is a believer of it because they see that the church is in a fight, it's in a war because they believe it's not finished. Prayer, if you understand this thing, prayer is meditation. Bring your mindset, focus it on the finished work of Christ. That is prayer. And that has settled everything. It has let what he has, he has, he has activated the kingdom of peace and life upon every situation. If if the law can get can get this 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 formula, you will see everything will crumble, everything will bow. I was I was into depression in my life. I used to wake up in the morning, nothing happened to me, not nothing bad happened. I begin to feel depressed. I began to feel so depressed. I used to, it's not that uh, oil was just put into, everything will be fine. I will be, I, it will, you know, depression sometimes might come by, by the connection of something wrong that happened. But you just wake up in the morning or in the afternoon, you're just being happy, your mood just changed and you become depressed. So those words, is a, it's a purely psychological words. I used to suffer that, I suffered that in my life. I suffered it. But when I begin to have an understanding of it, it's that mindset, only, only putting on the mindset of it is finished through the situation. Boy, there is no, there is no medicine that is, that is stronger than it. Immediately that you put on that mindset, every depression, you know, you know, you know goes away from you. Every depression just, just vanished from you. Immediately the mindset of it is finished comes upon you, upon your mind. Every depression, you begin to see life. In, in begin to see light in darkness. You see light in death. You see blessing in disappointment. Yeah, yeah. You know, you see blessing in everything. True. The something that was making you to cry.
right start making you to be happy. Yeah. Yeah. The same thing that was, was making you to, I said, you want to give your key yourself, begin to give you the reason why you are leaving, the reason why you should leave. The reason why you should leave. I wanted to commit suicide because I feel that I don't, I don't deserve to be, you know, I don't, I, 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 you know, I am I'm too weak, I'm too imperfect, I'm, I, I don't fit into this world. But, but when the revelation changed, God said, child, I designed you not to fit into this world that you might fit into me. I feel, I feel so perfectly in God. And this happened in a way that I feel I completely don't fit into this world and I might feel fit completely in God. I wanted to keep myself because I, I was weak. Then by that now, God reveals his strength in me. So the same reason why I should die is the same reason why I am living. It's the same reason why I am living. I was so restless in this life. I used to be very restless. The same restlessness produced rest. God revealed himself to me as rest because I was restless. The same situation. The same weakness. The same, the same obstacle that was standing before you becomes a testimony. You know, there was a, a, someone that they put in a hole, in a pit. And when they put that person in the pit, they want to they, uh, they, were, they started covering that bit with boiling sand on the bit on the, for, for, for it to cover the person. The more they pump the sand, the more the man has something to, to, to stand on. The more the sand increases, the more the man comes up. You get me? Yes. The, same, the same situation, the method, they are putting stones and sand to, 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 to swallow the man. The same stone is the one that is lifting the man up. That is how things work. When you understand, when you have a mindset of it is finished, you begin to see that the same thing that you, you have thinking is, a, is, is that is killing you is actually a way of life. It's, a, it's, it's actually the same thing you think is a curse. It's a blessing. It's a blessing. So the eyes of it is finished. Correct. It doesn't matter what is happening to you. It matters whether you are spiritually minded or carnally minded. It matters whether you are seeing through the eyes of it is finished. Or through the eyes of it is not finished. And the, what is prayer? Prayer is a seeing. Faith is a seeing. Divine life is a seeing. Seeing through the eyes of it is finished. Being spiritually minded, everything will fall in place. Amen. So all you need is not to change the situation, but change your mindset. Be spiritually minded. Life and peace will happen to you. In the midst of anything, we don't need to, we don't need to, we don't need to have a blessing, a, a physical blessing for us to be happy. All we need is to be to change our mindset. All we need is to change our mindset. Just like okay, if you're such a person that always there is something that always comes to your house in the night and all that and all that, and there is like a negative presence. Immediately that presence comes, you begin to think. You begin to change that mindset. Instead of seeing the negative presence, you begin to see God's presence. I don't think that this has worked for me. It has worked for me even. In, 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 this period, I don't even need to, you know, when it seems that, okay, there's a negative presence, you begin to, with your mind, you begin to say, wow, there are angels here, there are, there are angels here, angels are everywhere. And you just turn the mind, immediately you start thinking, oh, there are angels here, there are God, God, God has sent his angels. This fear will, 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 will disappear immediately. You get me? Yeah. So it's, a, it's not a function of, it's not a function of what is happening, it's a function of you changing your mindset in the midst of everything. What is causing you fear is, is the privilege, is the opportunity to, to, for you to be happy, for you to be bored. The same thing is about you, it's not about you to change your mind. Focus your mind on the finished work of Christ. Everything will fall in place. Everything will fall. You will not find that the devil does not exist. God is the one I see. I'm not seeing the devil. The devil does not come to me in the night. God is the one that comes to me in the night. So when you change this mindset, do it too. Once, one or two times, you will see that that devil will not even come again. Yeah. Okay. Now, and that has how that will now make you to begin, begin to be more conscious of God than more conscious of the devil. If that if that thing was not happening, you wouldn't have remembered God. But the, the thing that is happening now reminded you, God, 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 God. So it becomes a blessing, a blessing, and a blessing. If you can understand this thing, that is that is what prayer is, a change of mindset. And that is what meditation is. Amen. Amen. So, so let's do, let's have a moment of meditation this evening. I want us to have a moment of meditation right now. I want you, as you do every moment, 
every Friday like this. So I want you to you're gonna close your eyes because when you close your eyes, you have activated the power of your subconsciousness. When you open your eyes, you are in the realm of consciousness. Meditation is a realm. It's a time when okay, what 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 I want you to do right now is find yourself to be half asleep. I want you to do nothing right now. Okay, do nothing. Even as you hear this word going on, speaking over you, don't even try to repeat it. Don't try to repeat it. Just make as if you are sleeping. Make as if you are half asleep. Be in the realm of half consciousness, half asleep. Don't even <laughs> it's hard. Okay, don't even don't even try to repeat what I say. As if the, the, the way to receive the word now, as if those words are being spoken to you, you are because it will be using come from the way of I am, I am. So you don't need to say, if I say, you know, you are, you will hear it as you are, but but if I say I am, you will hear it as, as if it is you. Okay, so don't even say anything, don't even Please, I want everybody to. I want everybody to be in the realm of. Just relax your mindset. Don't even take it off from anything. Let it be very neutral. Very, very neutral. Very, very neutral. Find yourself to be half asleep right now. Find yourself to be half asleep. Don't repeat what I said. Don't repeat what I'm saying. Don't repeat what I'm saying. Just allow it to rain on you. Just like a rain falling upon you. Yeah. The rain of meditation is a rain where you activate. The, the Bible said to be can, to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. That is what meditation is: to be spiritually minded, to be spiritually minded, to connect in your mind to the realm of it is finished, is life and peace. So, be in this realm right. God is Father to me. Father is who God is to me. God is Father to me. He is Father to me. Father is who He is to me. I am a family of God. I belong to God. He owns me. I am His own. God owns me. I am His own. I am a child of God. I am a child to Him. He is a father to me. My relationship with God is not a relationship between a God and a person. My relationship with God is a relationship between a father and a child. I am in a father and child relationship with God. My relationship with God is a family relationship. He is father to me. I am child to him. He is love to me. He is grace to me. He is forgiveness to me. This is what father is for to me. Father is love to me. He is grace to me. He is forgiveness to me. I am forgiven of all my sins, past, present, and
that future. God is, God is happy with me. He is in unconditional happiness with me. God is happy with me unconditionally. He is forever pleased with me unconditionally. All He has for me is life, love, grace, peace, and unconditional blessing. All He has for me is life, is love, is grace, is peace. All He has for me is unconditional blessing. I am in His finished work. I am in His kingdom of it is finished. I am a finished life in Him. I am a finished destiny in His hand. I am a finished tomorrow in Him. Thank you, Jesus, for I, I am forgiven. I am loved. I am blessed. I am beautiful. I am bright, I am unique, I am precious, I am complete in Christ. I am in the realm of God's unconditional faithfulness, the realm where God's faithfulness over my life is unconditional. I see everything to be bright. I see everything in God's light. Everything is bright and clear. I am God's unconditional sources. I am sources in God's hand unconditionally. I am God's unconditional progress. I'm making progress in God's hand unconditionally. Everything in my life is a progress. Everything is working together for my good unconditionally. Everything is working together for my good in this life unconditionally. Everything is working together for my good in this life unconditionally. What is before me is life, and life, and life alone. Everything about me ends in life, and in life alone. Father, you are life to me. You are my life. You are my destiny. You are my identity. Father, you are my wisdom. You are my righteousness. You are my holiness. Father, you are my salvation. Father, you are my deliverance. You are my healing. You are my restoration. Father, you are my health. You are my provision. You are my strength. Father, you are my safety in this life. You are my long life, Father. You are my vaccine. You are my divine protection from every sickness and diseases. Father, you are my health. You are my faith, God. Father, you are my faith. You are my rest. And in you I rest, Father. 
Thank you for all I see is life before me. All that is before me is life. All that is before me is light. The light is shining upon my path. Everything is right. Everything is right. Everything is fine. Everything is well. Your grace is upon my life, Father. Your beauty is upon me. Your goodness is upon my life. Thank you, Father, for it is finished upon me, upon my family, upon everything that is before me. I have come into eternal life when everything ends only in life in my life. I am in the blessing of God where nothing ends in sorrow in my life. I am in Christ Jesus where I have been delivered from the power of darkness. Only your light I see, Jesus. Before me is blessings. Behind me is blessings. The light is shining, Lord. Your goodness is running after me, Jesus. You have anointed my hair with oil. My cup is overflowing, Jesus. Thank you for I am your child. You are my father. You are Unto our uncon you are in unconditional responsibility over my life. In your faith I rest, Father. In your strength I rest. You are my destiny. You are my past, present, and future. You are everything to me. You are my safety. I will live long. I will live strong. Everything is falling in place for me. Everything is falling in place for me. All things are working together for my good. Thank you for your love, Jesus. Thank you for I am forgiven. I am loved. I am accepted. I am justified. I have eternal life. I belong to you forever. You are mine and I am yours. I am complete in Christ. Your grace is upon my life. Thank you, Jesus. Your protection is upon my family. Your divine presence is upon my family. Everything is in perfect place, Jesus. Thank you for your blessings of it is finished. It has come upon my family. Thank you for progress is all I see. Progress unconditionally. Progress. I am loved. I am loved. I am loved. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for my life belong to you. You are my life, God. You are not a part of me. You are me. You are my life. Not a part of my life, you are the life. In you I live. In you I move. In you I have my being. Thank you. I surrender everything to you, Jesus. I surrender everything to you. Thank you for it is finished. Thank you for his only blessings, his only favors, only grace. Only your goodness and mercies are upon my life, are following me. I give you all the praise, Father. For I am in the finished work of Christ. Amen. Amen. Let's say this together. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Just allow, allow these things 
and just go through your mind right now. Must be a little silent. Let's say this together. The Lord is my shepherd. The shadow of want. Alright, it's fine. Yeah. The Lord. Come, please. Okay, let me pray for this is before me. It's off. It's fine, no problem. Okay, family, let's stand up together. Let's everybody stand up. Find the name of Jesus and it is your presence upon this.